How's it going knife nerds? Today I'm bringing to you something pretty darn special. This is a custom ballet song from an Italian maker by the name of Fiore. So we've got here the traditional box from Fiore. Um, he has since gone to pouches I do believe. This is an older 2019 release of his knife. So um, let's get some package open here and there is the certificate of authenticity it has a model number here and we have uh, the number 12 is the serial number for this knife and it was produced in March of 2019 and there his, is his uh, John Hancock signature there and this, I am told, is all written in fountain pen to add an extra layer of uh, detail to his Certificate of Authenticity card. And uh, when it comes to a Fior Balasong, it is all about the details. So I'm going to set this to the side here. There are some warranty informations in here and discussions about the uh, type of knife that this is, I do believe. So we're gonna get this out of the way. Now the knife itself, it does have this uh, silicone sleeve on it, which would act as a pocket sheath to keep the knife protected in your pocket from opening because it is latchless. And uh, so while I set this down for a second, let me read you something here. So, Fiore Knives out of Italy has pioneered the modern pinless balisong, bringing back to light the ancient and forgotten art of pinless balisong manufacturing. Each one of these is painstakingly hand finished and tuned to perfection. The Italian styled bayonet blade is perfectly formed to have a smooth dip for excellent finger twirls and chaplains. These are channel cut handles and run on super clean and smooth bearings. The balance on these knives is scary good and very well balanced. Now, um, let's go ahead and slide this puppy out here. And we're going to get a look at it. So uh, we'll call this the back side of the knife and we'll call this the show side because the pivots are not tooled on this side and they are just beautifully polished there and rounded and so we have this sort of beautiful satin finish on the titanium here and this hole pattern traditional balisong hole pattern now these are channeled handles so they each handle is one piece and they are channeled out milled out on a machine and uh so not like a traditional balisong that they call a sandwich style where there are screws that hold two pieces of the handle together. These are each one piece. And uh, an interesting note about the holes, the cutout holes in the handles. So you notice we have a, a slightly thicker, you know, area here and we have a gradual slope up to the tip here. And as that gradually changes in size, so does each hole. So each hole gets gradually a little bit smaller. And so, again, this is all about the details here with Fiore. Now, I want to make sure I've got the safe side of the handle here because it's hard to tell because this is a bayonet style blade. It does have um, a false edge on the back side but the the edge is actually very 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 fine and very sharp so you got to be pretty careful here so i'm not very good at flipping these things let alone doing it behind a camera but let's get you some details on the sound that this uh, ballet song makes So a very uh, beautiful sound coming with this thing here. And of course I touched it, it is mirror polished. So I put fingerprints on it. So let's get those off before I show you the details in this amazing, beautiful blade here. 
Okay. So, so uh, what we have here, both sides are deeply hollow ground and mirror polished. And then the, the flats of the blade are a beautiful hand rubbed satin. And so it's gonna be difficult to see just how mirror polished this really is behind the camera here. But suffice to say, it is just absolutely stunning. And so um, we've got this dip here, and this is the dip they were talking about where it makes the, the chaplains easy because when you're spinning this ballast song around your finger, your finger is kind of cradled here in this little dip area. And so um, this blade shape, just absolutely beautiful. You would not want to screw up trying to flip this thing and get poked by that very extremely fine, fine point there. And uh, oh, what a knife this is. Um, the blade stock is pretty thin. Let me get you some specs here. Um, the total length is 10.16 inches. In the, in the closed position, it is 5.6 inches. Uh, the handle thickness is 0.51, so a little over half an inch thick there. The blade length is 4.95 inches, and the weight is 3.7 ounces. So this thing is just, it's stupid light. I mean, it feels light as a feather in your hand. It's it's extremely impressive just how light this knife really is for the size of it. I mean, this thing is 10 inches long and it's 3.7 ounces. Now, um, some of the Ballysong flippers, which I am not, um, they do complain, they did complain that this knife was a little too light. So uh, Mr. Fior in, in later renditions of his Ballysongs made them have a little bit more weight more up in the four to 4.5 ounce range, I do believe. Um, and that is preferred for the guys who are strictly flippers and enjoy, you know, the art of flipping. However, this knife may be catered more to the art appreciator than the flipper. So, um, you know, it's, it's made to be an ultra fine piece of cutlery art you know um, when you look at this knife it just it feels like it feels like you're looking at a supercar design so elegant so beautiful so refined so perfect in every way just you know there's no there's no denying that this is just a gorgeous flawless piece of cutlery here and uh it performs too. I mean, I'm no flipper like I say, but this to me feels absolutely superb. And so um, if I were a flipper, maybe I would feel differently. But the way I feel about it now is that this thing is amazing in every way. And uh, so um, that being said, oh, it, it is in fact a RWL 34 steel so we do have a good premium super steel here and RWL 34 polishes quite beautifully and so that's going to lend itself to this style of blade making here and uh, being a pinless balisong you know there is not a stopper here and there are no pins for the handles to bang against so the way that it's designed, if you kind of look down here, you can kind of tell how things are going to hit together. And it's, it's made to kind of impact softly against the handles there and the way that that all functions. So this is, this is ultra detailed in ways that justify it being a $1,300 retail ballast song when these were available. Of course, there are new versions now, different blade shapes and whatnot. He's got a Tanto version. And so this is probably one of the earlier runs that he did of this style of Balasong. 
And uh, so, yeah, Pensless uh, channeled Balasong with RWL 34 steel and just an absolute gem of a knife. No matter what type of knife guy you are, you really have to appreciate the elegant beauty that is presented here in this Balasong. And uh, me being a folder guy, um, this to me, this is pure art right here. Like, if I could afford to keep this knife and put it on a shelf, that's what I would do with it. I wouldn't be banging it around, flipping it, and, uh, you know, dropping it on the ground and whatnot. I would have a different balisong for that. This is a piece of art that would sit on a shelf and look pretty. That's what it is. And so I hope the uh, next owner of this knife that I'm going to pass this along to really enjoys it. I gather... Uh, this gentleman that I'm supposed to sell this to is a collector of Fior and other sorts of high-end balisongs, so hopefully he'll get a great appreciation for this knife. And uh, other than that, man, you guys have a great rest of your day and uh, catch up with me in the next review. I've got a buddy of the channel, Mr. Stevie, is supposed to be sending me in some cool stuff to take a look at and review. And uh, so we'll get to that coming up here shortly. Later!